Hello, my name is Professor Stoker and I want to welcome you to the introduction to speech communication class. Whether you're a veteran of online classes or this is your very first time to take an online class, I just wanted to show you how this particular class works and give you an example of how, it, how you do things in this class. The first thing that I want you to look at is your home page here. You'll see that you can access the course syllabus right here. If you go over to course announcements, this is very important. You need to look at this because I change it up every week. Sometimes I change it up day by day and if there are certain announcements that I want to make. So I really want you to look at that. Uh, there's course mail over here and then your grades as you get them. You'll see the, the percentages over here. I have live office hours and they are on Mondays at 9 p.m. If you want to come and chat with me or ask questions, you may do so. And those, uh, I will be there for the first 20 minutes. If no one logs on, then I'll go ahead and get off. But of course, you can email me at any point in time because I am very good about answering email. You don't have to wait until Mondays to do this. And then we also have the course syllabus, which I want to take a look at for just a moment. This is, it's really important that you read the syllabus. Number one, you're going to have a quiz on it this week. But also it's important because of the fact that this tells you everything that you need to know or a lot of things that you need to know for this course. For instance, one of the things that you'll need for this class is COM2. That's the name of the textbook. I use the textbook all the time in the class. It's used for every quiz except for the first quiz. And so therefore you need it. You need to get it and you should already have it. You also need to have a video camera or your cell phone or some kind of camera that will allow you to upload to YouTube. You're going to make a YouTube account. If you don't know how to make a YouTube account, I talked to you about it on uh, in one of the lessons in the first week and I also tell you to just go onto YouTube and it's very easy to get an account there. The other thing that you need to know is that I really don't accept late work. I mean, I give you a week Every week you get one week to complete your work. So everything opens up at midnight on Sunday night and it's due the following Sunday at 11.55 p.m. You have an entire week to do the assignments. So if you'll just take it little by little, you'll get everything done and there should not be a problem. Um, this is a total online class. You don't have to meet. You might choose to meet for the group project, but you don't have to. The group project can be done without meeting at all. So there's no expectations that you have to meet. I want to go to the lessons next. Um, this is the heart of the class. This is where all of the week's folders are. Every week is opened already. In other words, you could go to week eight and open up the quiz, but the thing is, is that if you open the quiz, you had better take it because you can't open a quiz and then close it and come back and take it. You'll have to, you'll get probably a zero for that. Every quiz has a, uh, for instance, this quiz, every quiz has a 45 minute time limit. There are 25 questions on the quiz and you'll get that much time to finish it, but you only have 45 minutes. So you need to know that if you open up a quiz, then you also need to take it. So you wouldn't want to open up week eight unless you'd already read chapter six quiz is my point. So when you're looking at the lessons, you'll see that there's each week. Also notice there's an extra credit assignment. Open that up and look at it. It's due on the last day of class. It's a book that you need to read, but it's a really interesting book. It's about a serial killer, but it has to do with communications. The other thing that you'll see is the helpful resources. I refer to these a lot in the lessons, and there are different things in here. There's also good examples of students' work. Uh, the extra credit assignment is in here. It's not due on that date. I need to change it. Um, and then there's also uh, different rubrics in here and all kinds of things. So there are things for you to look at. It's important that you do. It's important that you're responsible with these lessons and you get them done. You'll notice as you open up week one, you'll see that it has, uh, so I'm talking to you a little bit, and then you're going to have some assignments. One of the things that we do in here are hot topics, and hot topics are discussion assignments, and you have to do those. There's also another one in here called Anyone Have a Question? It's not graded, and it is an assignment when you have a question, help, other people can help you answer it, or perhaps I will also check and see if I can help you too, and I'll check on there every once in a while. That will be open throughout the entire course. 
Then up here you have resources. Notice that it says Apple Safari is not supported in Angel. That's what I'm on right now. So you might want to check and see if there's something wrong with your with uh, what you're using as your browser, and you might need to change that, like to go to Google Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that. I don't usually really use the calendar. It shows you when my office hours are, but I don't usually use it because it has some problems. Of course, you email me at any point in time during this class, and I will respond back to you in a timely manner. And then, of course, you have your grades. So this is the way the course is set up. If you have any questions, you feel free to ask me. I am so excited to have you in class, and I look forward to some great communication.